Evening guys, I hope we're all doing very well. As always, welcome back to another video. Now, the highly anticipated deadlift session, short video, back workout, why I deadlift, why I do, all of the above. Um, because I feel as if it definitely falls into pretty much every single bracket that I've just mentioned there. Now, deadlift for me is a big one. It is a very big session throughout the week. Now, I've always deadlifted the way that I do. Nothing's really ever changed. I've never I've never structured any sort of programming in to learn to deadlift in a different way. I've always just pulled the way I have. Um, now, with that being said, I, I don't deliberately do anything different. I just really am super comfortable with the way that I do it myself. And as you can see, obviously, the small shrug at the top or row at the top or whatever you really want to call it. Um, I've tried to kind of get as many angles as I could just to really give you guys an insight into seeing why I, I more so warm up the way that I do because I definitely don't do what I do in my warm-ups and my working sets because you can obviously see it gets a lot heavier um, and I lose that explosive drive at the top to really do anything with it. Now, I'm always trying to treat the bar as an empty bar for my warm-ups especially because if I don't, um, from a mindset perspective, like anybody would know, if you go in and your warm-ups are feeling really heavy, you're going to allow that to dictate your top end set. So, I'm really focusing on trying to not allow that to happen by being super explosive at the top. And that really allows me to always treat the bar as an empty one. And again, what you will see is from that, me being that explosive, it will actually have me shrugging a little bit at the top just because I'm very much in control of the bar that I'm that in control, it pretty much could move anywhere. I could probably put it up on my shoulders. Um, but that is really the main reason behind it. I've actually just recently placed a, a reel up onto my story and my Instagram feed as well, which you guys can check out. It gives you a little bit more of an insight as well into why I actually do, why I do it. Um, but as you would see, it's just more so throughout my warm ups that this happens. Um, whenever I move to my working sets, you can obviously see a full extension in my arms, um, no soft elbows or anything like that. And again, full lockouts as well. But at the same time, my goal is always to get to my top end working sets as quick as I can in the most efficient way without giving out any energy that I will need for my top end sets. Like, for example, here we took 275 kilograms for a set of nine for the last and final deadlift session here in Destination Dallas. But apart from that, guys, we're going to be heading back to Ultraflex in Durham. Of course, I will still be working with a Texas deadlift bar. And like I've said to you already, guys, not much ever changes with my training, so nothing's really going to change. Um, I, I personally... I'm not one for learning really that much about the powerlifting side of things. I think a couple of things would need to change throughout my deadlifts if I was going to go down the powerlifting route just to really maximize even more out of my deadlifts. But at the same time, a big thing for me is most definitely my mindset towards what I am achievable um, or I am capable of doing um, from a more so perspective of not having any enhancements and again, obviously being able to showcase what's possible as a natural bodybuilder. Um, I've never done any sort of powerlifting training or anything like that. Like I say, I've not really got that much of an interest in it. Um, however, like I say, when I head back to Ultraflex, not much is going to change whatsoever apart from the environment, the atmosphere, um, some equipment. But we will be back in a Texas deadlift bar, of course. Um, it's been a really fucking cool trip here. And as you can see, post deadlifts, we did obviously finish on a back session because it is my back day after all. Um, I just really, really, really enjoy pulling off the floor, which is why every single Saturday on my second back day of the week, I do deadlift off the floor pretty much every single week, unless I'm running, for example, something like um, a deficit deadlift. Or for example, say I'm putting in a, a pause deadlift, some sort of variation I will be running, but I will most definitely be deadlifting in some form pretty much every single Saturday. But like I say, guys, as always, any other questions um, that you might have regarding my deadlifts or my back workouts or just training in general, never hesitate to drop a comment down below. Um, and as always, please do let me know if you do enjoy these voiceovers and the small, shorter videos. I like to try and keep them as informative as possible, just so you guys can try and get as much from them as possible to potentially incorporate into your own training. Um, but like I say, if there's anything else that you haven't seen on the channel, guys, that you potentially would might like to see, um, don't hesitate to drop a comment down below. I also have coaching spots available for Anyone who is interested in joining Team MBK, um, you can always shoot the link in the description box below or you can shoot over to Instagram. I also have my main page across there as well. Um, but all of the links is in the description box below, guys. So as always, you can find everything there. Um, but I do hope you did enjoy this one. If you did, please do not forget to drop the video a like, comment down below, turn on post notifications, subscribe to the channel. And I will catch up with you all in the next video.